In this video, we will learn more about the switch statement. So let me execute this program and see what happens. GCC and the name of this file is switch.c and it create it will create an a.exe file. I will execute a.exe and enter a number 0 to 7 representing the day of the week. So I will press 2 and it prints the Monday. So well this is the output of this program. So let's understand what it is. So we have included svdavo.h int main. This is the main function. And the first thing that we're doing is declare a variable to store user's input. So here we are storing the day number and the prompt the user to enter a number for the day. So here we are saying the printing enter a number 0 to 7, representing a day of the week as it prints here. And the scanf function will take input from the your command line. This is the command line of the terminal and stores this value into the day number, uh, this variable. And you have a switch case here. We'll, I'll, I'll explain what it is in a moment. So in this switch case, this day number is evaluated and the case one or case two, according to that, in this case, the case two gets executed and it prints Monday and then breaks out of this switch statement and then return zero to the operating system. Well, this is what this program is doing. So let's understand more about this. So well, this is a series on C4. Embedded systems. Check out the playlist. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Okay, so the switch statement enables you to choose one course of action from a set of possible actions based on the result of an integer expression. So as we saw in the example, we were able to choose either Sunday, Monday, or any of that print statements based on the integer expression, that is the value that we passed. So based on the value that is passed, this is an integer expression. I were able to choose either of any of this, any one of these uh, prints. So the general way of describing the switch statement is as follows. You will have a keyword switch. Within parentheses, you have an integer expression. Then you have a block of code. So within that, you have a case, the constant expression, 0, 1, underscore 1. You have the statement and followed by you have a break. Similarly, you can have multiple cases and then you have case. The last case is the constant expression underscore n and you have the statement. You have to break out of this case. Then you have a default statement and the rest of the statements and the break. So let's understand what it is. The test is the value of integer expression if the value corresponds to one of the cases one of the case values defined by the associated constant expression values the statements following that case values are executed if the value of integer expression differs from every one of the case values the statement following default are executed so as we saw in the example, we entered two and the Monday got printed. So let's execute this with another number. So we have one here. So it printed Sunday. So what happened is when I entered one, the one is scanned from the command line and then one is stored here. 
and this is the expression here it's it's a very simple expression where we just have the variable and this variable stores now one and the case one is executed so that hence it prints sunday and let's say it says zero to seven if i press eight what happens is invalid input please enter a number between one and seven so none of these cases matched then it prints the default statement or the default block gets executed so because you can't reasonably expect to select more than one case all the case values must be different if they aren't you will get an error message when you try to compile the program so let's understand this if you see in this program all the cases are different so what i'll do is let me just do instead of two i will change it to one line number 20 and let me execute it so if you execute it throws an error it's a duplicate case values so that means all the case values has to be different now it's a program compiled successfully now the, the case values must all be constant expressions which are expressions that can be evaluated by the compiler this means that a case value cannot be dependent on a value that's determined when a program executes so of course the test expression digit ex expression the integer expression can be anything at all as long as it evaluates to an integer so what it means is that the case value has to be uh, an expression which at the compile time it is supposed to compiler has to know what this value is so in this case day number and the compiler knows that it is going to have an integer value so it has to be a constant expression so you can omit the default keyword and its associated statements if none of the case values matches the value of the integer expression then nothing happens the break statement jumps to the statement after closing the brace so as we saw before when we entered 8 it printed the default statement now let's do some experiment with this so I, let's just remove the first break Or this break and see what happens so I will ex okay, let's compile this and do an a.exe executing so I'll just enter the number one okay so you can see that it printed Sunday Monday Tuesday and then it breaks out so what is important is the moment the case one gets executed since it did not have a break statement it just continues to the, the next cases similarly if I put two so you can see it, put, it produced monday and tuesday so what it means is that if there is no break statement the, the case followed by the previous case will be executed well that is about well that is about the switch statement i hope this is clear please leave your feedback in the comment for any suggestions thanks for watching subscribe to the channel for more projects courses tutorials and tools